below. Welcome to In 180 Seconds. Today let's understand three frequently used terms in trading. In the money, out of the money, and at the money options. First, let's see ITM, which stands for in the money. An ITM option is the one, in which there is intrinsic value for the option. In other words, it has a strike price which is already surpassed by the current market price. So if you hold an ITM call option, then the option holder has the opportunity to buy the underlying stock at a value cheaper than the market price. Similarly, if you hold an ITM put option, the option holder has the opportunity to sell the underlying stock at a value higher than the current market price. Here is the example. If the current share price of Indian Bank is 125 rupees, then the buyers of the call options are said to be in the money, if they hold call options whose strike price is below rupees 125. These ITM options have intrinsic value based on how far it is from the current market price at expiry. These people can buy the share of Indian Bank cheaper than 125 in the market and all the strike prices above the current market price will have call option premium as zero at the time of expiry. Now let's check the case of buyers of the put options, who hold options of the strike price greater than 125. They are all in the money, and these people can sell the share of Indian Bank at greater than rupees 125 at expiry. All the strike prices below the current market price will have put option premium as zero at the time of expiry. Since ITM options have intrinsic value in them, these are priced higher than ATM and OTM options. Alright, let's come to OTM, which stands for out of the money. An OTM option is the one, in which there is no intrinsic value in it. In other words, it has a strike price in which the current market price has not surpassed yet. An OTM call or put option is priced much lower than ADM and ITM options, because there is no intrinsic value in them. So if you hold an OTM call option, then you hold a strike price that is higher than the current market price of the stock. But the reason you might want to buy these is because, it comes cheap and also, in anticipation of the price of the share to go higher than the strike price chosen, by the end of the expiry of the contract. Similarly, if you hold an OTM put option, then you hold a strike price that is lower than the current market price of the stock. But the reason you might want to buy an OTM put option is because it is cheap. And also you expect the price of the share to go down, below the strike price by the end of expiry of the contract. Let's take the same example of Indian Bank stock. The below snapshot is at the beginning of a monthly contract. The current price of Indian Bank is rupees 125. The buyers of OTM call options are on the right. As you can see the option premium becomes cheaper if the strike price is far from the current price. Similarly the buyers of OTM put options are on the left. Again, notice that the premiums decrease if the strike prices are far from current market price. Unless there is a huge volatility in the market, buying the OTM call options are risky and brings loss to the buyer. Finally, let's see ATM, which stands for, at the money. When the strike price of the call or put option is identical to the current price of the stock, it is called ATM. These options are higher at the beginning of the contract, and gradually drop to zero by the expiry, if the price of the stock remains at the same price without much movement. The ATM call and put option for Indian Bank, trading at rupees 125 are below. Hope this made sense. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.